The show will begin momentarily. Please, take a seat. Today, I'm going to be going over the new Wuxin Ocean, Wuxin, Wuxin, KGXS20G mobile GMRS radio. The price for the KGXS20G is $219. Affiliate link below. And it's available only at buy2wayradios.com. Buy2wayradios.com did send me this radio so that I could review it and show it to you, my favorite viewer. I'm going to show you the features of this radio. Not every feature, just the features that interest me that I think will interest you because I've made this video specifically for you. I will keep this video short and to the point because I know your time is very, very, very valuable. So I won't waste your time with fancy graphics, a stupid intro with stupid music. This is not the six o'clock news. I'm just some YouTube hobo trying to change YouTube one video at a time. So far, nothing has changed. The KGXS20G is a brand new radio just released and now shipping. Allow me to read through the features of this radio. I'm going to read the features because if I try to go by memory, we know what will happen. The KGXS20G features 20 watts of powerful GMRS output, wide band and narrow band. It comes with your standard 22 GMRS channels plus eight repeater channels. Split tones are supported. You can also scan for tones so that if somebody's having a private conversation, you can do a scan and the radio will tell you what tones they're using so you can join in whether they like it or not. Talk around feature, 999 memory slots that you can store any, pretty much any VHF or UHF frequency for monitoring, listening, or scanning. Built-in FM radio receives all NOAA channels and does NOAA weather alerts. It does dual receive, so you can monitor two frequencies or channels at the same time. Should you choose, you can turn that feature off very easily. It has two programmable buttons that you can program to do almost whatever you want. And you can program the radio Radio fully from the handset. You can do everything using just the handset and the radio. A computer is not required, but it is much easier if you use the software to do some of the programming. That software is available free at buy2wayradios.com. You will need a programming cable if you're going to use a computer to do the programming. I will put an affiliate link to that cable below. It's the same cable that the KG1000 radio uses. This is basically a higher powered mobile version of the new KG935G. Oh, you don't know about the new KG935G? Available only at buy2wayradios.com. Watch that video to learn more about that radio. So when you purchase the KG XS20G in the box, you will receive a warranty card for the one year warranty. You will receive an operator's user's manual. Ninety one pages long. Written in perfect, perfect English, not written in radio jargon. It assumes you are not a radio expert, so everything is in plain English. Very easy to understand, and it goes over every option, every setting of the radio, what you would want to use it for, and how to use it. You can tell a lot about a radio by how much time and effort the manufacturer puts into the user guide. They put some time and effort into this user guide. You will receive a mounting bracket and associated hardware. It comes with two thumb screws. So when you mount the radio in the bracket, you can adjust the angle, the pitch, or is that the yaw? The pitch. So you can perfectly adjust it for your viewing pleasure. You will receive two power cables. One, if you're going to mount the radio permanently in your vehicle, it's got the regular tinned wires. The other, a cigarette lighter plug that can go into your 12 volt power socket, what most people call a cigarette lighter whether you like it called that or not. And because the radio outputs only 20 watts, pretty much any cigarette lighter in any car will power it. It doesn't need a lot of amperage. This will make it very easy for a temporary installation. You will receive a microphone with full controls for the radio. You can do everything from this microphone. There is a lock key so that you can lock the radio or lock the keypad so you don't accidentally change channels. And the microphone has a little backlight inside. You can turn that light 
on or off with that switch. One thing that is different about this microphone from pretty much all new radios that I've seen lately is that this one comes with a more robust, longer lasting, I don't know, DIN, I think that's called, mini DIN, DIN something that screws into the radio. So you can't pull it out. It's got a strain relief on it. This is gonna be a lot more durable and last a lot longer than the RJ45 type plugs that most new radios have these days. So they were thinking when they designed this radio. And finally, in the box, you will receive your very own KGXS20G mobile GMRS radio. First things first. Oh, yeah, baby. So on the radio, you've got your volume control. I'll show you what these buttons do in a minute. Microphone plug, power button, menu, channel up and down, and channel changer knobby. On the rear, plug for a standard PL259 connector, that is a SO239. A hole for plugging in your programming cable and that is sealed and there are screws that you have to take off to get into it. Also with a little seal is a plug for an external speaker. There is a SIM card slot here, which is unused in this model. And it looks like the faceplate is removable. This is the same kind of release catch that you'll find on the KG-1000G and 1000M, but it is not a removable faceplate. On the back, you will notice there is no fan because it's a lower power radio. It doesn't generate a whole lot of heat, so it uses passive cooling. The chassis is basically a heat sink. And on top, right in the middle, you've got a speaker, which is a very loud speaker, perfect for your vehicle or your noisy Jeep. Everything is sealed. This isn't waterproof or anything, but they've done a lot to keep dust out. Everything seals up pretty well. It is a small radio. Four and three quarter inches by about four and three quarter inches, a little more if you include the uh, nub. A very handsome radio, I must say. Now this is a mobile radio, but many people ask when I review mobile radios, can you use it as a base station? And yes, you could very easily use this radio as a base station, use it in your house, connect it to a larger antenna on the roof. You would, however, need 12 volts. You could put a car battery in, or you could just get something like the Samlex 12 volt power supply, which will supply endless 12 volts to the radio. This costs about $150. You can get it from buy2wayradios.com. Affiliate link below. But today I'm gonna be using my Jackery 1000 solar power generator to test out the radio because I can. The Jackery 1000 is a little more pricey and a little heavier but it will run pretty much anything in your house. And when the shit hits the fan, you can put up the solar panels and have endless electricity. Affiliate link below. So we're gonna hook the radio up. Much more sturdy than the standard RJ45 type connector. And it has that strain relief so that wire won't wear out as quickly. Simple to use, connect the plugs. And the boy end of this is going to go into my Jackery 1000. So let's take this baby for a test drive. So you can see it has the new color screen, high resolution. It has the dual monitoring. So right now we're monitoring repeater channel 21 and GMRS channel 16. It has that little indicator there, that arrow. That means if I talk, if I press the push to talk button, it will be transmitting on that channel. I can use the band button to switch down to the lower channel. I can hear both channels at the same time, but you can only transmit on one at a time. So you use the band button to switch between the two. So we have the volume control as one would expect. Channel knob, because my arrow is now up here, meaning I'm on the upper channel, I can change the channels. If I want to change the lower channel, switch to that change the lower channel. It has a mode button for going into VFO mode or displaying the channel name or the actual frequency. So there's my frequency. If you don't like listening to two channels at the same time, you can turn off the dual monitoring with the TDR button. So now I'm only listening to channel 21. 
PF1 is one of the two programmable buttons that you can program to do pretty much anything. Very simple to use, very easy to adjust everything, either right here or using the microphone. The microphone has all the same buttons, main menu for switching back and forth. So while you're driving, you can do pretty much everything. It does have its own volume control because it has a speaker in the microphone, which is nice for when you're driving in your adventuring mobile. So you can hold it up to your ear and listen. And as I said, you can do all the programming, everything right here, no need for a computer. Although for some things, the computer does make it easier, but it is not required. And the question that most people wanna know is how many FARs do I tox on the KG XS 20G. It is a 20 watt radio up to 20 watts. You can select high or low power with 20 watts. You can talk pretty far and I'm not going to waste your valuable time showing you my range tests. I will just tell you that I was able to hit everything with this radio using the mobile antenna on my Jeep. Talk to my friend Chris 10 miles away. My friend Conrad 13 miles away. Another friend that I had never talked to 18 miles away, I can hit my repeaters at 30 and 69 miles loud and clear, way more loud and way more clear than when I use the handsets. Transmitting distance is not an issue with this radio as long as you hook it up to a nice external antenna. MyTwoWayRadios.com sells lots of antennas. I will link to one that works well with this below, affiliate link below. And the way that you can talk those long distances is because of that 20 watts that Wuxin, Ocean, Wuxin, Wuxin, because of what they say it outputs in power. So let's just test that. I'm gonna make sure we're on a high power channel, channel 17, high power, 19.81.75, and a half, over 19 and a half watts. Pretty much exactly what Wuxin, Wuxin claims it will output. Let's check a low power channel. So I've gone to channel seven. That's uh, automatically in low power because you're not allowed to transmit at high power on that channel per the FCC, who rules our free airwaves. 3.99, 4.1, four watts, exactly as we would expect. I promised you I would not waste your time and I believe I have fulfilled that promise. The Ocean, Wuxin, Ocean KG XS20G is a nice, very compact, well-designed, sturdy, and well-built 20-watt GMRS radio. They have obviously put some thought into it. They didn't just shard it out like so many radio manufacturers do. This radio is a great choice if you want something that is compact, easy to use, high power, and you don't want to spend a lot of money. If you have any questions about the Wuxin Ocean, whoa, whoa, shun, KG XS20G, leave a comment below. I will do my best to answer it. If I'm not able to answer, someone else will come along and they will try and they will probably get it wrong. So bear that in mind. Thank you for